In today's video, we're going to cover how to successfully shorten these tiny little 2x56 screws. So how do you shorten these? That's what we're going to cover in today's video, how to shorten these tiny little screws. So these are the screws that I use to put my knife together with. These tiny little guys are 2x56. That means it's 56 threads per inch and the size of the screw is a number two. That's about 86 thousandths. They're very tiny, very difficult to handle, uh, a very small screw. And this is what I use to put together my knives with. I store all my screws in um, basically spice racks. This is a spice rack class container. And I do keep a spice rack. I do keep a spice rack right here on my workbench so I can very easily um, see all my hardware and exactly what I need to reorder. So about these little number two by 56 screws. It has um, 56 threads per inch. That means that if you took an inch and you broke it into a thousand parts, you'd have to turn this 56 times to travel the distance of one inch. These also have an 82 degree beveled head. This, this angle right here is 82 degrees. So you get an 82 degree tool to put this countersink in your, um, your handles. And these are a Torx style driver. It requires a T6 Torx. Very small screw, very difficult to handle. I was taught that to have the full strength of this tiny little screw, you need the depth of the threads to at least be uh, as deep as the diameter of your screw. So the typical diameter of this 2x56 screw is about um, 86 thousandths. Also this, this head right here, this 82 degree head, is typically about 72 to 75 thousandths in depth. Um, every screw is a little bit different. You, they have majors and minors, but roughly talking, it's about 75 to 72 thousandths from the head of the screw to the bottom down here. So if you want to get this thing flush, you want your tooling plate to at least be 80 thousandths. So what's a tooling plate? Here's your tooling plate. Um, this is just a piece of titanium that I drilled and tapped. I'm um, using the Tapmatic, and I'll show that in a future video somewhere down the road. Um, these are pass-through holes. If you don't know, an 093 thousandths hole is a pass-through hole for a number 2 by 56 screw. So I'll find one here. Um, these holes here are 093 thousandths holes. That's a pass-through hole for a 2 by 56 screw. Um, these holes over here I have tapped and threaded using the Tapmatic. The Tapmatic is a great tool for knife makers. It greatly, greatly speeds up your knife making on a manual drill press. You just can't beat it. I love that tool. It's one of my favorite tools in the shop, and I will show that in a future video. But basically, you want your tooling plate to be uh, basically about 80 thousandths thick, and that will account for the head of your screw here, which typically, not always, I mean, there's a major and a minor, but usually the nominal of this head right here from where the threads stop, focus, 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 where the threads stop to the top of the head, it's roughly 72 to 75 thousandths. This is a 100 thousandths tooling plate, and right here specifically where I do all my grinding, it's down to about 80 thousandths, give or take. So to successfully shorten this screw, we want to run this screw all the way down. Then we're going to count the threads as we back it out uh, to know what's the length of the screw so at this time, we'll go ahead and, uh, and run this all the way down. This is one inch divided into a thousand parts. So we're going to divide this by the threads per inch. Divided that by 56. It's 56 uh, threads per inch. That will tell me that one revolution on this screw is worth 17 thousandths, 0.85. And it's probably easier just to say 18 thousandths, here we go. As I unscrew, you can see I have a hole in my T driver, so I know exactly when I get back to 12 o'clock, that's one thread. So that thread has traveled 17.85. Here we will go times two. So times two, we have traveled 
35 thousandths. Um, three revolutions will be 53 thousandths. And um, another one should be 71. And when we go five, we should be at the full strength of the screw. That will give us 89 thousandths. So I was always taught that to have the full strength of the threads of the screw, you at least want to go at the minimum uh, the diameter of the screw. So the diameter of a 2x56, the nominal is about 86 thousandths. Here you can see that mine's coming out to be um, 83 and a half. And I do have a video if you want to learn how to read this sleeve and the thimble. I'll put a link in the description. But this one here is uh, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83 and a half. And so I know the diameter of this screw is 83 and a half. And after five turns, I know that after five turns, um, the screw should be 89 thousandths deep. Normally uh, on the nominal, I think of a two by 56, it's 86. You know, these things have a major minor tolerances, but uh, I know now that after five turns, I do have enough threads, once I grind this off on the back of the tooling plate, that it will have 89 thousandths worth of threads. And then again, the thickness of my tooling plate has accounted for the, the bevel of the screw head. So I'm grinding this screw real quick. Um, I don't care about this one. This is a cheap screw. It's not a cheap screw, it's a few cents. It's actually a stainless steel screw. Um, I'm not gonna waste a titanium screw to grind this because titanium screws are a few dollars. This one's just a few cents. It's maybe like a nickel or something. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna grind this screw and you'll see the sparks change colors. So let's go real quickly to the grinder and we'll shorten this screw. You can see I have a little ventilator in the window and uh, this here is my bench grinder. So this is my bench grinder. This is uh, running at 3600 RPM. It's just a normal bench grinder and I have a soft stone on here. This is what I'm gonna use uh, to shorten the screws with. And I do have uh, duct work. There's a big blower underneath the floor to help pull all this um, particulates out of the room. But <clears throat> these very soft stones that make some really bad particulates, it's extremely small particulates. It's almost like a gas. And so the ventilation itself really isn't enough to get this um, out of your shop. Honestly, you should wear a respirator doing this. I'm not going to just for the sake of the video, but you should wear your proper PPE. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the ventilation, let the wheel come up to speed anytime you start your gr uh, bench grinder, get out of the way till the wheel comes up to speed just in case it's unbalanced. Uh, stones can explode. I've never seen it happen before, but just be aware that you don't want to be standing in front of this. Stand to the side until your um, bench grinder comes up to speed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rest this on the resting plate and then we're going to grind the screw and until we hit the titanium. Where this is a stainless screw, you'll see the um, sparks are orange, and then when it hits the titanium, you'll stop, uh, and the sparks will turn white. So as soon as you see the white sparks, stop, and you're good to go. I'm also going to put a driver in this to prevent it from turning as I'm grinding. Be sure to take off any kind of jewelry. You don't want to. You don't want to get hurt. After we initially grind the screw um, flush with the back of the titanium, you want to take them out one at a time and move them to the pass-through hole. After we initially grind the screw, you'll see we have a very rough edge. So what I'm going to do now is put this 2x56 screw into the pass-through hole and then hit it on a slower buffer. Then we'll go to a slower buffer, it's 1800 RPM with the Scotch-Brite wheel and we'll touch up the end of the screw. This is a scotch bright wheel, a very simple one. I'm going to do is take one screw at a time, put it in the pass through, and then hit the burned up edge briefly on the scotch bright while I turn the screw. Just the end of it, I'm turning it very carefully across my scotch bright wheel. 
So here you can see the before and the after and the difference that the scotch Bright makes. Uh, this is the initial grinding on the 3600 soft stone and this is the cleanup uh, with the scotch Bright on the buffer. And it just takes time to shorten these little screws. It takes a lot of time actually if you want the truth, but now you know too how to calculate for the length of your screw. So once you do all the math and you figure it out, so once you figure it out, um, write it down so you don't have to do that math again. Use a Sharpie, that's a great idea. And these tooling plates have a lot of other great options too. You can um, fix your parts to them like little, you know, pocket clips, thumb studs, things of that nature. Then put that in your anodizer and anodize it. That's how I got these rainbow collars on this, um, this tooling plate. Final note, get some plastic trays or something like that so that after you invest all this time, um, shortening these screws to the correct length, you don't lose them. Trust me, using these little plastic trays or something similar, it's a good time saver. Um, I try to keep this video kind of short. Thanks for hanging in there to the very end. You must actually like making knives or be in the knife making. If you are, please like the video and subscribe. New videos come out every Wednesday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Wednesday.